In user research, surveys are the most scalable methods of validating assumptions. UserBit survey module is especially designed for data from large surveys. You can conduct the survey using your favorite tool like Google Forms or Typeform and then export that data out of your tool and into UserBit. Let's go through uploading a survey now to get a better understanding of the workflow. To get started, click on New Survey button and give this survey a name. On the resulting page, you will see some information about the required format of the input file. This formatting is important for UserBits parser to properly understand the incoming data. The first column on the CSV file should be our participants, and the first row should contain the questions from the survey. The rest of the cells should contain responses for the corresponding participant and question. Let's upload our file. The first thing Usabit does is show you a quick preview of what the parsed data will look like by reading the first few rows of your file. Let's make sure the preview looks OK. Here we see that it's reading our participants correctly. It has all the questions from our file, and the sample responses from the first person looks OK. Great, we are ready to start parsing. The heavy lifting of parsing large surveys is done completely in the background. This means that we can navigate away from the page or even turn our computer off. UserBit will send us an email to let us know when the parsing is complete. Once parsing is done, we can check out our participants and questions on the survey page. You may notice that this is a familiar layout. Yep, it is the same layout as our interview groups. We have participants on the left and our questions on the right. Clicking on a participant should take us to all responses from them, while clicking on a question would take us to all responses for a given question. We also have the ability here to generate a quick chart for the responses. This works great for questions that have preset answers like multiple choice. If it's a question with freeform answers, a word cloud might be a better visualization to look at. Great. So we've covered how UserBit lets you collect research data within your project, whether it's collected via active or passive methods, whether it is structured or unstructured data, you can bring it all together in one place and keep it organized. The real value of UserBit though, comes from enabling you to extract meaning out of your data, and we will start exploring that in the next video.